Welcome home, darling. You look exhausted. Are you ready to turn in? Good night then, darling. Have yourself a lovely sleep now, won't you? Morning, darling. It was so nice spending time with you. I only wish you could stay longer. Welcome home. You look exhausted. Let's go out for a lover's stroll. <laughs> Lead the way. Do you? Oh, heck. Brilliant!
I'll never get tired of this view. And we were so lucky with the weather. <laughs> Feels like a lifetime ago that we came up here for the ceremony, doesn't it? So much has happened since you set out on your adventures. But you're back with me now, that's the main thing. <laughs> a lot happened at our wedding too, didn't it? Oh, what a day! The whole village was there cheering us on! Your poor mum was crying her eyes out. Sandy was running round like a mad thing. <laughs> oh, and don't get me started on your granddad and the cake. <laughs> Speaking of which, how nervous were we both when we had to cut it? I felt like my hands were made of jelly. Would you do me a favour? Would you say your vows again? Huh? It was so romantic. You're usually so quiet. But there you were all of a sudden, bearing your soul like that. I couldn't believe it. Go on, say you will. For me? <laughs> Don't tell me you're embarrassed. All right, I'll start you off. Here comes my best priest impression. <clears throat> Do you take Gemma to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you love her as long as you both shall live? <sighs> oh, thank you so much. You have such a wonderful way with words. <sighs> I promise to love you too, of course. <sighs> Even while you're far away, on adventures I couldn't even dream of. <sighs> I'll always be here, you know. And when you've finally finished saving the world, I'll be right here waiting. Waiting for you to come home at last.
Hey, this place is great. So, are you ready to hit the hay? What say we head out for a wander? Nice. Let's head out. What's up? Whoa, check it out. I see what you mean about the view from up here. Is it just me, or is this place a lot like that cliff we jumped off back in Heliodor? Man, so much has happened since then. <laughs> Who would have thought the kid in the next cell would wind up becoming my best friend? Hey, here's a crazy idea. Why don't we see if we're still the luckiest guys in the business, huh? Oh. Ah! 
I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Whoa. That was a little too close for comfort. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, there's never a dull moment with me around, huh? Hey. So there's something I'm going to need your help with once we're done saving the world. We haven't found even half the treasure that's out there yet. I say we hunt it all down, split the take, and retire rich men. Deal? I'm Cobblestone's number one fan. You probably want to go to bed, huh? Not quite done for the day, huh? Then neither am I. Fabulous. Then let's get going.
Okay, here we go. Oh, honey, this vista is to die for! I just love an outcrop with a view. All of nature laid out before us. The sun beating down from a clear blue sky. Ah, this is paradise. Paradise! And best of all, it's just me and you. Which gives me an idea. May I have this dance? Yay! I knew I could count on you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's boogie! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much, honey. You don't know how much you've done for me. Someday, I'm going to build a wonderful theater. A place where I can put on the greatest performances the world has ever seen. And when I do, I know you'll be there, cheering me every step of the way. We make a great team, you and I. The great Silvando and the even greater Luminary. There's not a frown in Erdria we can't turn upside down. So let's get out there and make the world a happier place. Hmm. Hmm.
It seems an age since I have felt so at ease. Will you be retiring for the evening? Very well. Might I propose a brief stroll? Excellent. I look forward to stretching my legs. Listen. Accept your fate!
So this is the top of the fabled tour. Draw your blade. I challenge you to a duel. On guard. You have grown mighty indeed. Forgive me for the suddenness of my challenge. Sometimes words will not suffice. Sometimes the sword speaks truest. Your sword speaks of your kindness, your strength. Forgive me that I ever doubted you, that I dared to call you Darkspawn. These are crimes beyond reckoning. I pledge once more to be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Until such time as my crimes have been atoned for. May the bond between us never be broken. This is the life, laddie. Aye, ah, I could stay here forever. I'll warrant you're about ready to turn in, eh? Ho oh, ho! So you've still got some get up and go in you. What say we go for a wee stroll? Let's hit the road. Ha <laughs> ha 
Another day, another victory. So this is the top of Cobblestone Tor, eh? Not a bad view at all, laddie. And I'd know. I've seen my fair share of stunning scenery in my travels. Right then. Now the two of us are alone at last. Ah. Ah. I think it's high time I introduced you to the Royal Collection. Oh, I dreamed of this since the day you were born, so I have. Ah. Ah. Nothing beats a good bunny girl, eh, laddie? Well, that was every bit the bonding experience I'd hoped for. You've made an old man very happy. And this view really is quite spectacular. You were lucky indeed to grow up somewhere so beautiful. I have a lot to thank Chalky for, that's for certain. You used to call him Grandad, didn't you? Um, you, you couldn't do me the same favour, could you? Hmm. Oh, you have no idea how much it means to me to hear you say it. <laughs> I'll never leave you all alone like that again, my boy. I promise you.
the people in your village really know how to cook. Anyway, are you heading to bed? Still wide awake, are you? How about going for a walk? Well then, off we go. to talk? That's not like you. Now that's what I call a view. I almost don't hate you for dragging me all the way up here. Hey, you are glad you picked me, aren't you? <laughs> of course you are. I don't even know why I had to ask. I must say, it's nice to be somewhere free of monsters for once. It's actually a great spot for a snooze. Well, fancy a little rest? 
our adventure isn't over just yet, and you probably won't get another chance like this for a while. Come on, you. Nap time. I said nap time. Hurry up and lie down. Mm -mm. You may be the luminary, but that doesn't mean you can keep burning the candle at both ends forever. And now you've got me to look after you, you can afford to take it easy once in a while. You have to do what I say anyway. I'm the oldest. Hmm. There might be the odd time when I need your help too, of course. Not that I'm saying you haven't helped me out plenty of times already. Thank you. I mean it. <laughs> oh! Well, don't you feel a million times better for a rest? Don't worry, you can thank me later. We've got the rest of our lives ahead of us after all. The amazing Veronica will be with you to the end. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get out there and save the world! It's nice spending time here in Cobblestone. So how are you feeling? Ready for bed? If you've still got the energy, perhaps we could head out. Well, whenever you're ready.
Let's do it. Finally. That took longer than I thought it would. It's almost dark. Oh, be careful of the edge, won't you? You, um... You couldn't do something for me, could you? Huh? Could you... Hold my hand? We've come all the way up here. We'd be silly not to enjoy the view together, right? Hmm. Your hands used to be a lot smaller, you know. Back when you were a baby, I used to worry that they'd shatter into pieces if I so much as touched them. But you're all grown up now. Maybe it's time I stop treating you like a child. <sighs> oh, typical. Why does it always start raining the second we get a chance to be alone? What do you say we do a little something to warm ourselves up? Good. We're only going to die of cold standing around like this all night. Right. Brace yourself. Positively toasty after that. You've come a long way. Feel that breeze. You know. I get the feeling there's nothing we can't overcome as long as we're together. Lucky we're going to be together for a while then, eh?
love it here. Everyone is so wonderfully kind. I suppose you'll be heading to bed, will you? The weather's lovely. Perhaps we could go for a walk. Wonderful. Well, I'll let you take the lead. I wasn't going to mention it, but...
almost forgot. I brought a little something for us to eat. <sighs> oh. <sighs> your mother taught me how to make your favorite stew. Would, would you like to try some? Oh, wonderful. You have no idea how happy you'll be making me. Here you go. So, did you like it? <gasps> oh, really? Oh, I'm ever so relieved. I shall keep practicing so that it's even more delicious the next time you taste it. I want ever so much to become better at cooking. After all, it wouldn't do for me to make you cringe with dread every time it was my turn, would it? Gosh, it will be time to go home soon. The moments really do fly by when I'm talking to you. I feel so lucky whenever we have a moment alone together, but then it's always over so fast. I shall always treasure the times we've spent adventuring together. Always. Thank you so much for choosing to take me with you again. Just as you promised you would. Huh? But just listen to me, talking absolute nonsense. Ignore me, honestly. Hmm. All you need to know is that as long as I can be by your side, I'll be the happiest woman in the world. <laughs>